Hello there, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we are bringing forward messages to you. Uh, this is a timeless reading, and this is messages from the light. Light codes activating. We're going to see what energies are being amplified for you right now and what else that spirit has to say for you guys. So with this being a timeless reading, whenever this reading finds you is exactly when it's meant to, and it will be live for you at that time. So if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Always grateful for every single one of you guys. Um, and if you do find that you enjoy your reading, please do take a moment and give me that thumbs up by pressing the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. So let's get right into it. The first card that we've got out is Initiation by Water, and it's card number 23. So this is an important time for you um, where things are coming into alignment for you. This is a time of creation, enlightenment, growth for you and big profound change and when we have initiation you are being initiated into the fold for some of you you're just embarking on your spiritual journey you're just getting started perhaps some things have been unfolding for quite a while but maybe things are just starting to fall into place and you're starting to get some understanding it's going to require some work some shadow work some clearing out of past energies but when you're done this is going to be a hugely profound spiritual change for you. Also an emotional change for you. Um, because when we have initiation by water, right, this is about cleansing, purifying, healing. But this is showing you that whether you're just starting on your spiritual journey or whether you were right in the middle of it, um, or maybe you've been at it for quite some time, you are being guided to be a channel for spirit. Aquarius, we are in the age of Aquarius. You are the chosen ones. You are the ones that share your light and show people the path for the future. You are the ones that can really help enlighten a lot, a lot, a lot of Aquarians, our light workers, spirit, um, spirit guides, channelers. Oh, that didn't come out very right at all, did it? Um, channel or channels for spirit guide messages. There, that sounds a little bit better. Um, you are healers. You are meant to teach other people. And you, there's a lot of power within you, but not in a way that will go to your head. Not like you're walking down the street going, I am powerful. I'm more powerful than you. That's not what it is. Because you are the humanitarians of the group. You are the ones that do share your light with others more easily than other um, signs possibly would. And you love to see other people succeed. You love to see other people grow. And it is part of your path here to share your loving guidance, your expertise, your wisdom, and your vision for the future with other people because the vision for your future when we're talking about the collective energy isn't your vision it's a vision that you are channeling and you are sending out there on behalf of your spiritual soul tribe so it's a beautiful beautiful energy um that you've got here but but there's always a caveat right you may be going through a period or you've just come out of a period or you're just about to start where you're going to be feeling a little bit unstable. You're going to be feeling like you've, like you're not on solid ground. You're going to be feeling um, like you're not in control because there is change that's happening and this energy that's flowing through you and to you, right, is one that maybe some of you aren't quite used to. You may also be in a situation where it's coming in more powerful and more strong than ever before. And so it does kind of rock the boat just a little bit. But trust that wherever you are, you are on the right path. You are on the right journey. Sometimes you may run into troubled waters. Emotional instability. It's because you're growing, changing, evolving. And it involves shaking things up a little bit. It's an energy that you really should be used to, considering that your modern ruler is Uranus, and Uranus is here to create chaos and change, but it lines us up for a better future. 
So you understand, you may look around the world around you and you might be your part of your path to be the guiding light for other people. Maybe when you're having those conversations at the water cooler about, you know, about war and strife and all this kind of stuff. And you might be the one that is the voice of reason for people saying, but guys, the ways of the old are no longer working. It's time to usher in a new. And how do we do that? We've got to shake things up and it does bring in a little bit of chaotic energy when we do that. So whether there is this chaotic energy that's within you because there's something being shaken up within you to get you on your true path, right? Or as you evolve along your true path or whether it's external and you understand it a little bit more than other people do. Uranus is your ruler for a reason. Your traditional ruler was Saturn, and Saturn rules karma. But Saturn also teaches us those life lessons. And so in this energy that you're experiencing, all those life lessons that you've learned, all of your past lives, you're tapping into all of that wisdom now. And this is what gives you that experience that you need to share with other people. And so when people are looking at the news and all of this, and you might be you might be that person who you're like, you know what? Yeah, there's stuff going on. There's always stuff going on. But right now is a period of great change. And as the old regimes try and try and hold on to power and hold on to the ways of the old, it's more important to embrace the future and embrace the new energies. So you are this channel, cha- this channeling vessel, shall we say, for spirit to enlighten others and show them that there's a better way. And I don't know when you're watching this reading. I don't know if you're seeing it when I'm posting it, which is November 2023. Um, but earlier in 2023, we had Pluto. Enter Aquarius. Pluto is Pluto's very slow moving planet. And Pluto hasn't been in Aquarius since uh, the last time Pluto was in Aquarius was um, the French Revolution. I think it was also the American Revolution as well. But anyways, the French Revolution for sure. And what did that do? Power to the people. Aquarius is about the people. Uranus brings change that makes us a better future. Pluto brings you the power back. So you are part of this channel, this vessel vessel of change for the future. It can be a heavy burden. Um, It can be, you know, how come I have to do this? I'm always helping other people, right? It can be like, oh my goodness, I just want to do something for myself. The choice is yours. You don't have to be involved. But should you choose to accept your mission, (laughs) you will be rewarded greatly. This is your reward in some way. So if you're like, well, you know, I've closed out my karmic cycles, all this. Yes, this is actually a reward for you, even though it might not be the easiest path, the easiest journey or the easiest thing to, you know, help other people along their journey. But it may be what you're called to do. So it's a huge message, um, huge message. But you are being called to bring people together to to help people on their journey. Hmm. We have the lover's card there as well. It's not the same lover's card as in the tarot, but um, it's very similar. And it is card 21. Unify people together around the world. You are leading the charge, Aquarius. It's not easy. Sometimes it's thankless. But there's a wisdom in you. Your old souls your light beings, your healers, your guides. So the lover's energy here is about bringing people together in unity and balance and harmony, and it is card number 21. So it is about the planet. It is about the world. Be on the lookout here as well for a very important person or very important people in your life here too. Um, Because... You have the ability to, yes, bring unity with people, 
but I feel like there is a very important connection that you're going to make in the very near future. And yes, we do show two people kissing on the card. Maybe, hey, maybe it is like a, a romantic soulmate for you, but it's someone that digs you, someone that gets you, someone that gives you the space that you need to do your thing. But this can also be somebody who you can partner up with um, on a very deep, very profound level. Maybe, you know, it could be something like you open up a spiritual practice together, or maybe they are your soulmate in some, you know, on some level, right? Certainly could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a business partnership, it could be a new friendship. This can also be a reconnecting of people, a reconnecting of souls. But this does bring unity. And so, again, part of your calling, part of your light that you're being shown is your ability to bring things and people together. We have Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. It's not that you are necessarily you know, the end all, end all and be all of spiritual awakenings, because you're not. But everything that you do, what you say, because you're a channel, you are being divinely guided. And the guidance you give other people, it's not from you. Yes, there is an element of you, right? There's that humanity side of it. But you are channeling for other people, whether you realize it or not. Because have you ever been talking to somebody or doing something and something will come out of your mouth that even surprises you. You're like, where did that come from? I don't even know. Right. Or you just happen to say the right thing at the right time, even though someone didn't ask you a question. And there you might look at you like you've got horns growing out of your head and say, how did you know? You know, because you know, because you know, because you are being divinely guided. And the words that you're speaking aren't always yours. And it's weird when it happens. And it's unexplainable when it happens, but it's right. And it just happens naturally to you. And as you as you evolve along your spiritual journey, it'll probably happen a little bit more and more and more and more. And it's 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 a weird thing, but it's also kind of really cool at the same time. Don't try and overanalyze it, don't try and overthink it, don't try and explain it away. It just is. It is what it is. It's a gift. But this is also a perfect time for you to tap into your Akashic Records. So if you've ever had an inclination to do anything um, uh, like with the Akashic Records or with past lives or anything like that, or you're trying to figure out your soul's purpose, this might be a perfect time for you to do that. Now, how do you tap into your Akashic Records? Um, there are, depends what, kind of depends on what, trajectory you want to take or what you feel comfortable with. Um, there are guided meditations out there that can help you do that. Um, and sometimes, you know, the beauty of guided meditations is that you don't have to think in, about anything. Um, and part of, I mean, the whole thing with meditation is quieting your conscious mind, right? But it's like you're being guided through a process, through a journey of discovery. And so you're not worried about what your next step is or anything like that. You're just following that guided path. For some of you, you may seek out somebody who specializes in unlocking people's past lives or Akashic records. There might be answers there for you. But you don't necessarily have to pay anyone because you have that ability to channel that information within you, within your soul. We have unbound, releasing souls, patterns, contracts, and past lives. And we already did speak a little bit here about closing out karmic cycles. At least I think we did. <laughs> if we didn't, we are now. <laughs> okay. Um, but you have, you, some of you here have come in with a heavy burden, with a heavy load. It's because you asked for it, right? We... Um, as souls, as light beings, we do quite often choose our next journey, our next path in life. And some of you intentionally have chose a very difficult one. And it's because you have a lot of experience. You've got a lot of wisdom. And you're like, you know what? I've got this. And sometimes maybe it's felt as though like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> what is going on here? Why is my life so hard? Um, 
you know, but it's ultimately rewarding. So whatever your situation is, this is a time of release. This is a time of setting free. This is a time of freedom, of closure. And this is a time when you can um, really embrace that future because you have cleared out that history and because you've cleared out the past. Now, Unbound is also about your past lives, right? So perhaps, again, through unlocking your Akashic Records, some of you are figuring out some answers to your past lives. Um, when I did when I did this, I did this a couple years back. And I was very interested in it. And uh, I still do. I still do tap into my Akashic Records every once in a while. But I have always wondered, ever since I was a little girl, um, ever since I can remember from the time I was like four or five years old, I've always felt like I've known what it's like to have died in a fire, like a house fire, freaking freaky. And, you know, I, 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 at first I thought it was because I witnessed a neighbor's house on fire when I was probably about nine or 10 years old. But then I thought, well, no, because I already kind of had this feeling. So it's kind of weird. And sure enough, when I unlocked my, um, when I did like a past life regression and I unlocked this information, then I really understood because there was some other things that lined up with that as well. And anyways, it was really cool. So if you are inclined to explore that, keep an open mind, release expectations, right? Release, release, release. Um, because if you go in with preconceived ideas or certain expectations, then you're going to create a little bit of resistance that might not work the first time. So it's just something to keep in mind with that, especially um, tapping into Akashic Records if you're doing it on your own. Don't don't even worry about what it's supposed to look like or feel like or anything like that. Okay, release all those expectations because everyone's experience is going to be different, and everyone is going to be able to tap in and connect with that in in a different time frame. Some of you, it might be the first time out of the gate, great, right? But others of you, it might be the tenth try, right? And just go with the flow. Just just take it easy. Take one step at a time. Right. You will unlock what you're meant to unlock when you are meant to unlock it. We have star seed. What lights you up? You are star seeds. You are light workers. You are spiritual beings. You are the chosen ones. What lights your soul? Where do you see yourself going? Where do you feel comfortable? Where do you feel uncomfortable? Sometimes that can unlock some information there as well. But you are here for a reason. You are here for a purpose. And you are one of the originals, right? Have you ever looked at the stars, looked at the sky? I'm a stargazer. I always have been. I'm also a cloud gazer, right? I love looking at the clouds there as well. But you are a star seed. You are, in some cases, don't always feel like you belong. You don't always feel like you fit in, right? You know, Aquarians are perceived as being weird, right? Well, I feel it's weird in a good way. I feel it's weird in an awesome way, to be honest with you. Um, but it's because you are quite often misunderstood and it's because you, um, you have experienced many, many lifetimes. You have many more lifetimes yet to experience, but in the here, in the now, you are that star you are that light being that other people gravitate towards for one reason or another it's part of your gift some days it may feel like a curse but it's part of your journey but look up to the stars there's messages in the stars for you um you have the ability like no other to really embrace all of the abundance, all of the wonderful, magnificent magic that the universe has to offer. And you have the ability to bring that and manifest that down onto the earthly plane. You have a job to do, but it's an important one. And it's a fulfilling one. And it's an enlightening one. Get excited about it. We have chakra balance coming in here. Embrace the balance between earth and spirit. Use clear quartz, rose quartz, and hematite. Very important, right? Because we've got a lot of very floaty energy here for you. And it is very important to ground and protect your energy, right? Always before engaging in any spiritual practice. 
but it's also important in your daily life to try and find balance and harmony, right? Unity. Because it's in that balance when we clear out space and time, we have our earthly worries to deal with, but we can also spend that time on spiritual practice. And when we find that equilibrium between the two, boom, magic happens. We have your third eye chakra, not surprising. Work with lipidolite if you're into that. Signs, there, there will always be signs to guide you on your true path. And you are very much divinely guided. We have chakra balance again, second time. <laughs> okay. And all things work best in conjunction with all things. So these are the crystals that you can use to help with your chakra balance. Clear quartz, amethyst, lapis lazuli, jade, citrine, carnelian, and smoky quartz are all highlighted there for you. But two reminders there about your balance, balance your energies, balance your chakra and chakras, I should say, and balance between the earth and the spirit, the 3D and the 5D, right? Balance is the key. I'm going to leave that there for you, Aquarius. I hope there was something here for you. Um, we kind of did go a little bit deep. But anyway, very important message for you guys. So I hope there was something here for you. For some of you, I feel that this might click um, a little while later. This might click a little bit more in the next week or two or three. As you unpack the messages, you're going to be like, that's what that meant. Okay, I get it now. So, but I think others of you will figure it out right here and right now. Anyways, I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed your reading, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day. Sending you lots of love and light. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.